Before I start this video, I did a Twitter poll on how y'all pronounce my name. Turns out only 58% of y'all are saying it right. I know it's kind of hard to tell with the weird way it's spelled, but my name is pronounced Katzoon. Onward to the video. Okay, we all know what laws are for. Basically, they're there to keep us safe and to keep the society in order so people aren't just murdering each other willy-nilly with machetes that they just stole from Walmart. Laws are relatively easy to follow. Basically, in order to not get arrested, don't be a general nuisance to the public and you're all good. Most of them are common sense like don't attack people, don't steal, don't start death cults, <laughs> Charles Manson. Sometimes the government likes to sit down, think long and hard in their intents, gotta protect the citizens of the country, time-consuming meetings to come up with the perfect law. Let's legalize eating roadkill! Wait, 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 hold on, what? So apparently in Montana and some other states in the USA, it's legal to eat roadkill you find on the side of the road. I just... I want to know who thought that was necessary to sit down, have a meeting, draft a bill, go through the long process of making a bill a law just to legalize eating disease-ridden flattened raccoons. Okay, so maybe there is some practical use to this, like if you need food or something, like I get it. I'm not mad at this law. Instead of Thanksgiving turkey with gravy and stuffing, if you want to have squished turtle with crack shells and bird poop, go right ahead. Bone app the teeth. But I'm not done with you yet, Montana. You've got some pretty whack job laws I want to get through. So let me give you a scenario. You're driving down the street in Montana and get pulled over. The officer goes up to you only to find that you and your child, who is 13, aren't wearing seatbelts. He finds you $120. $20 for you and 100 extra for the unbuckled child. Are you stupid, Cat? That's a great law. I'm not done with this scenario. Let me finish. The officer then looks at the back of your truck and finds five children, all the age of 12, sitting in the bed of your truck. No seatbelts, no way of preventing them from flying out of the truck when you're going 45. He simply smiles and waves at them, giving them no extra fine and gets back into his police car and drives away. Apparently in Montana, it's completely 100% totally a-okay to have anyone of the age of 12 or older sitting in the bed of a pickup truck when you're going 45, but it's super dangerous and wrong if someone who is 13 years or older isn't wearing a seatbelt, sitting in the safety of the car going at the exact same speed. Honey, come on, let's load up our seven kids in the back of the truck, drive a few miles down the highway, and search for some flattened, rotting raccoons for dinner. That sounds like a wonderful idea because that is literally completely legal and seen as not a bad thing under Montana law. You're so smart, sweetie. I just... <laughs> what? Nothing against Montana, by the way. It's not your fault that the state government has some... questionable decisions. Okay, so let's move on to my own state, Texas. So as a lot of you know, I live in the great Yeehaw State where the rivers are flowing with sweet tea and the cowboys are rounding up cattle with lassos. Or something like that. Anyway, I love my state. Minus the 110 degree summers, that's pretty ew. However, we weren't immune to the stupid and pointless laws that have descended from Idiotville to plague our state government. In Texas, it's illegal to drink more than three sips of beer while standing up. Okay, obviously that one isn't enforced like at all, but I love the questions it raises. Can I take three sips, sit down for a second, stand up again, and take three more? Or do I have to wait a certain time until I can stand up and take three more? What if I took one sip, sat down, and stood up again and took three? Is that illegal? I don't know, it's just kind of funny to imagine a bunch of old dudes passionately arguing over what was the right amount of sips of beer one could take while standing. However, in Texas, if you are a parent, it is cool to let your child drink as much alcohol as they want as long as you're the one that gave it to them. Hmm, now I'm not an expert, but that sounds like, I don't know, child abuse? A child's brain can't handle alcohol and crap like that. It can severely damage them, but the Texas government thought it was perfectly responsible to allow irresponsible parents to do this to their kids. At least the kid will be sitting down while they're drinking it, though. So yeah, the USA has some pretty dumb laws written into the government. Obviously, most people don't do these things because most people have this little thing called common sense, but it's funny to laugh at them anyway. Leave any weird laws your state or country happens to have in the comments below. I'd love to read them. Have a great rest of the day slash night, and just remember, if you live in the state of Arizona, make sure you have a license to feed your pigs garbage before you feed them that leftover banana peel.